the Boys Training Center has commenced a new program designed to not only instill love for the environment in their wards, but tangible skills that can help them earn a livelihood. Details in this report. Environmental awareness is often a leading global topic with various campaigns encouraging people to take responsibility for the cleanliness of their environs. The wards and staff of the Boys Training Center are playing their part in contributing to a clean environment with a multifaceted initiative. As part of this initiative, the boys are given the opportunity to attain important skills. The general manager of the Boys Training Center, Wang Sun Sun, says the activity also affords the participants skills they can use for employment upon leaving the rehabilitation center. Every boy who lives here will not be academically inclined and they will still need some means of earning a living. So some of them are trained to use the weed eater and they are doing it very effectively. So it's, it's a holistic approach to the boys. Everything we do, it is geared at the rehabilitation and advancement of the boys that we have. The coach and warden at the Boys Training Center, Alvin Augustin Xavier says, in addition to contributing to a healthy environment, the collaboration between the wards and staff fosters a stronger bond of unity amongst the boys. They're working together and when they see that the staff join them, that will give them more added incentive to, you know, to involve because it is not about you all just want us to work. They see that we're taking part also. So basically we're training them how from being boys to men that you need to take care of your your environment firstly and then around your home because especially we in the hurricane season we need to um, make sure the area is safe that when the the rain comes that we don't have too much flooding and landslides and those kind of things so they seeing that we um, involving it also will drive them on and motivate them to you know take part also the cleanup activity occurs on the last friday of every month from the Government Information Service, the Muddy Mark reporting.